What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes Today, and thanks to LEGO for providing this brand new box of Series 22 minifigures for me to open up and review for you guys. You can see it's got that not for sale sticker on here, but before we bust open the box, well, I'll do it as... I'm busting it open. I want to tell you guys what to expect from this series. So it's looking like these will be $4.99 when they release in stores on January 1st, 2022. So yeah, that opens up the box. This just kind of folds back like that. And then we've got a full box full of bags. So let's do an opening and see what we get. All right, bag number one. Here we go. Let's see who our very first figure is. All right, it looks like it's the Ice Warrior guy, so let's get him built up and take a look. So here we go, starting off. I love the husky he comes with, with those piercing blue eyes. Those look great. The figure itself is pretty amazing as well. This giant sword is going to be great for customs. I love the snowflake shield here. He's got dull molded boots with dark blue on bottom and white on top with some great printing there. The torso is really awesome. This guy looks like he's definitely going to keep pretty warm. I love the dull molded arms as well. He's got a little uh, neck piece here that's like a big fur piece. That's very cool. You can lift up his hat to see that he's also got a kind of relieved look on this side of his head and a little bit more of a stern look on this side. And he's got a brand new hat piece to tie it all together. A really nice figure and a great way to kick things off. As a quick recap, here are all the figures that we could get out of this box. You know, judging by how many bags are, we're probably going to get at least two of each, but that's what today's video is about, so let's find out. Our next figure is the Bard, which is really, really cool. You'll see that he comes with three one-by-one -one printed coins, which is definitely going to be popular with those of you who like the castle or medieval-type themes. I just think that it's cool to get like a lot of currency like that. He does come with three of these little quills to go in his hat, and overall, it's a really fantastic figure. You gotta love those blue and brown dull molded legs, the arm printing, and the loot. It just ties this figure together and makes him awesome. The third bag gave us another snow ice warrior guy, so we'll keep moving on. The fourth bag is another bard. You can see the loot in there, so, so far, lots of doubles. Bag number five is another Snow Ice Warrior, hopefully the last one that we get, because usually you don't get more than three of any given character, but we'll find out. The sixth bag is another Bard. I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day here, but the reason I'm telling you this is that if you find a box of these unopened at a store, like you're the first person to go through them, hopefully it can let you know that, you know, where the figure you want. So, like, let's say you want the Raccoon Girl, and we find out she's the last bag on the right, then that's where you would go to get that if you were so lucky. That's the only reason I'm doing these in order, but let's keep opening them up. All right, it's our seventh bag, and hopefully we get a new figure here. I'm getting tired of building the same ones. Okay, we do have a new one, and ironically, it's the raccoon girl I was just talking about. <laughs> Okay, so here she is all built up. She comes with a green trash can, a white trash bag, and then the raccoon costume itself is amazing. It's got a gray raccoon tail, a brand new raccoon headpiece, which you can take off and see that she's actually kind of like an older lady. You can kind of see the crinkle by her eyes. And if you didn't believe me before, she does have gray eyebrows and she comes with a gray hair piece. That's pretty cool. Uh, the torso is very nice, and I love the legs, which of course are dull molded legs with black on bottom and light gray on top. Definitely a standout figure. The eighth figure on the right side is the Chili Pepper costume. Let's check it out. So here we go, the Chili Pepper costume. I really like this. It's, uh, I can't really think of any applications I'll ever need it for, for customs or anything, but it is still cool. She's got a little milk carton there, since milk can help cool you off. Of course, if you lift up the chili pepper, it's nice to see she's got printing on the shirt, as well as some red hair that you can put on there. I love the sweat beads coming off her forehead, and then she's got a determined look. So it's like, yeah, I can definitely eat this hot chili pepper. And this side is like, oh man, I've made some bad life choices. <laughs> Our ninth bag on the right side is another raccoon lady, so we'll just keep moving on. Bag number 10 is another chili pepper. You might have thought the next bag would be a raccoon girl, but it's another chili pepper. The next bag is another raccoon girl, so that gives us three snow warriors, three bards, three raccoon girls, and three chili peppers so far. 
So here we go. Admittedly, I don't know if this is like a reference to something in like folklore or something. So if you guys know, drop a comment and let me know. The little uh, mushroom here is adorable. It's got a face printed on it. We do get mid-sized legs, which are short legs that can be posed, which is definitely very cool. Uh, I like the little walking stick here. The acorn hat is interesting, but I'm not really sure I can think of anything to do with it. But if you lift it up, you can see that she's got a cheery smile on this side and kind of a smirk on this side. So it's definitely a cool figure. The mid-sized legs make it worth it for sure. But beyond that, eh, I'm not really crazy about this one. The next figure is kind of this ghost warrior night girl. So let's see what we got. So this girl basically looks like a Rick and Morty character to me, but I do really like it. The leg printing is great. The shade of purple used on the accenting is very unique. The translucent sword and shield are very cool, and it actually gives you two of these swords, so definitely cool for customization. I love the long blue hair piece, and you can see that she does have two facial expressions. One is a little bit of like a confident warrior smirk, and this one is kind of a more friendly smile, but yeah, definitely a cool figure all around. The next one is the robot guy. I'm excited for this one. This one is definitely my favorite of the series so far and probably going to be my favorite overall. I love that he's like a robot repair technician guy. He's got great printing on all sides of the legs except the back, of course. Great arm printing as well, and I love this very unique yellow mechanical arm there. It looks awesome. You can also take out this black clip. And it comes with two little drill pieces. Uh, one is just an extra piece, of course, but that is just so freaking awesome. He comes with a little side build here, too. He reminds me of Lenny the Binoculars from Toy Story. He's got little feet there. Then you can actually lift up this helmet and see that he's got a robot head underneath that looks fantastic. Even a little battery charge uh, sign there. Really awesome and definitely my favorite figure of the series so far. Our next figure is the pink alien, so I'm glad we're getting some change up here in the uh, last quarter here. We only have two more bags from this side, but let's see what's in this one. So I don't necessarily play with my Lego figures anymore, but if I was a kid and if I did still play with my figures, I would love this guy. I kind of love him anyway. He seems like he'd be an awesome sidekick character for some space missions, and I love that they gave him the classic space torso in purple. I love the arm printing, the pink hands, the leg printing is phenomenal. The new gun color is great. He's got some kind of thing on the back here. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's like ammunition for his gun or something. I don't know, but the headpiece is fantastic. If we lift it up, you can see that it's actually like rubbery and squishy, and the face has a tongue printed on it, and it's got an even bigger smile on the back, so it's like he's really excited to be charging into battle. I love this figure, and I would definitely have cool adventures with him if I was still playing with my Lego. Our last bag on the right side is another robot technician, so let's move over to the left side now. Well, here's the lay of the land so far. Definitely some cool figures, but we've got a lot to go, so let's get into it. Our first bag on the left side is the horse girl. The horse girl is a really, really great figure. I love the torso because it gives us a great new option for hoodies, and the printed sleeves are such a great touch. The mid-sized legs are definitely cool, and I love the hat piece. It looks so much like MJ from Spider-Man. Then we've got a little carrot here and a brand new full horse piece, like a baby horse, that is, and it looks fantastic. This actually may be one of my favorite figures in terms of practicality. It's going to be hard to beat that robot guy, but for practicality and making customs and stuff like that, this figure gets an A from me. The second bag on the left side is the Toucan Girl. Man, you want to talk about another character that really packs a punch. Let's start breaking this one down. The new toucan piece is amazing. It comes on a new colored, like, plant piece for him to sit on. I really like that. Look at these dull molded legs. Dark brown on bottom, kind of khaki on top. With the great belt piece, there's even printing on the sides of the legs for the cargo pockets. So cool. Then the torso is great. It's a great new torso with, uh, you know, the two little pockets there. You can flip it around too and it's just a plain black torso. Great for making customs. Speaking of customs, gotta love those dull molded arms. Got a little wristwatch on this side. I love the new dark green binoculars, the pink purse. She's got a great face. I like the little freckle she has there. This face is like she's kind of saying, ah, you know, seeing the toucan and this side is just a regular old smirk. Then I love the new colors here of the kind of like blue 
Azor, uh, Ball Cap, and Black Ponytail. What a great figure. The third bag on the left side is the Horse Girl again, and something I forgot to show you with the first Horse Girl is that she has another side to her face. She's got braces on and a big closed eye smile. Really, really awesome. The fourth bag on the left side is another Toucan Girl. Looks like we're back to doing the every other figure like we saw at the beginning. You guessed it, Toucan Girl is up next, and that should be our last one. This should be another new one, so let's see who we get. This is... Looks like it is the wheelchair athlete. Pretty cool. This is a seriously awesome figure. I love the translucent bike wheel up front. The black wheels in the back are quite cool too. And something you may notice is that the wheels are actually slanted like they would be in real life. See how those black back wheels are slanted? It comes with a one by one round piece there so that you can actually display it on the minifig stand. The dual molded arms are great. I love those hand colors there. That's great. The new bike helmet is awesome. And for my superhero fans, it's cool that we get two medals because you can put this on Doctor Strange for the Eye of Agamotto. Pretty rad. Next up, we've got the ice skater. This is a very cool figure, and he actually complements the old ice skater CMF, so it's cool that we get a pair after all these years. I love that he comes with a gold trophy, a little jumper, so that you can display him with his skates on. It is a little bit annoying that only one arm is printed, though, because, you know, if you ever wanted to make a custom or something, you only have one side that's printed and the other doesn't match. Anyways, I do like the kind of gold glittery stars on his face there, and the hair piece is very cool as well. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up my review for the Series 22 minifigures. I did get three of each in the box, so there's no chase figure. They should be very easy to find. And they come out January 1st and will retail for $4.99. If you want to get them, I would recommend a Lego store, like if you could get to one locally, because they'll definitely have them January 1st. Otherwise, you may be able to find them early at Kohl's here in the United States. They're pretty notorious for putting these out early, but other stores, sometimes they get them out January 1st, sometimes they take a few days. So if you want to make sure you get them January 1st, definitely the Lego store is the best place to do it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, who your favorite CMF is, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.